All right, guys. So it turned out that uh, the master cylinder on the '96 was bad, and my spare that I had was bad also. I took the uh, brake lever off. The uh, piston is not going all the way out like it should. It should come out. It should come out further. So I did have uh, a third one, but it turned out this piece is broken off. That bolts onto the handlebar. Uh, you don't have to take it apart this far, I just did. Um, I've never taken one of these apart before, and once I realized how easy it was to take apart, I had to shoot a video on it just to show you guys. So, now you notice I said take apart. I haven't put it back together yet, so we're going to find out together how it goes back together. And uh, actually, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Alright, so this is what your master cylinder looks like. Comes right out of that hole. Once you remove that, now it's got two rubber grommets on each end, and they make a repair kit for this. Uh, like I said, uh, I've never taken one apart before, but uh, now that I see how easy it is to take apart, I'm going to start buying the repair kits, because, uh, you know, why spend so much money on uh, one of these, not knowing if it's going to work if you got a used one. Um, also, a little tip, I... Uh, I found that buying like uh, motorcycle uh, handbrakes are actually better. Like I've actually bought one from a, a used katana and uh, put it on Polaris, and it had the same fitting on the end, um, and it worked out beautifully, and it held up better than uh, than these do. So, okay, so we're gonna take this bad boy apart. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and uh, we'll see how it goes back together. So I don't know if you can see in the light here, there is an O-ring right here. And there's a little tab to put push your screwdriver in. So I'm going to push this in and get that O-ring out. The only thing holding this together is that O-ring, which is really bizarre. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This pushed in, your plunger pushed in. The way I like that is uh, I got two bad ones here. If I screw it up, I'm really not out anything, so I'd probably end up having to buy one again anyway. All right. A little bit more of that ring to come out. Here's that O ring. Oop. And uh, this should just pull right out. Ooh. Well, you can see my problem. It's rusty. Uh, I'm guessing the spring probably failed. It wasn't pushing it back out like it should. The gaskets look good, so it's, it just looks like it's the spring. Let me get you a closer look at that. See, it's rusty. Spring's weak. It wasn't pushing it back out like it should. And now we're going to put this back together. So the first part's easy. It's that second ring that's kind of a pain. I take a little screwdriver and I'm just trying to push the lips of the yes get in without damaging it. There we go. Yeah, we'll just push it in. Make sure you put it in the right direction. Flange has to be up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and push this in and then put that ring back in. 
The idea is to get this under the lip. And uh, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There's a beveled area. So you want it it's pushed into that point so that'll tuck in there. <clears throat> there we go. Just about got it. Uh, there. That's it. I'm going to try to get you in the light so you can see that. It's all the way around. It's like a beveled edge that that o ring has to tuck underneath. That holds the piston in place. So now you see how this one's broken right here. You don't have to take that off. I took mine off because it's nice and clean compared to this one so I'm gonna replace that right away check that o-ring in there and uh, I should have a good uh, handbrake I test it out yep it's popping all the way out like it should now so there you have it and if you want to take that off there's two screws at the bottom pull right out Put the new one in, put the screws back in, make sure everything lines up, put your uh, hand lever back on, and there you have it. One master cylinder rebuilt. Hope that helped you out. I know that wasn't a really good visual because here I'm trying to push this piston in while I'm getting the o-ring in, but hopefully you'll get the idea. Last and most important thing is once you get this reinstalled, put your fluid in. Don't forget to bleed your master cylinder. I've got uh, uh, a bleeder set. Uh, you can get it at any automotive store. It's going down into a jug of brake fluid. I'm going to start squeezing the lever and watch the air bubbles come out. You see it's working, pushing the air out. Bubbles coming out of here. It's a good sign. It means it's working. As long as that jar fills up with brake fluid and that fluid level goes down, you know this is working right. So see the bubbles coming out. Make sure all the bubbles are out. Squeezing this back and forth. So you see bubbles in there. This might take a while. But I'll just keep uh, going back and forth so you don't see any more bubbles. Fluid levels going down, that's a good sign. That means it's pushing the fluid out. Jar is starting to fill up. So now this might take a while, so I'm not going to videotape the whole process. But I am going to top off. Fluid. And keep going. So that's a good sign that it's dropping. That means uh, fluid is going into the jar. That means it'll push it through the brake system, which that was a problem I was having before. Was the cylinder didn't go all back all the way and it wasn't pushing the fluid through. Pumped everything up, cracked the bleeder screw and watch all that. Ooh, she's pumping up finally.
Yeah, that's good. She's working. Pushing all that air out. The brakes are starting to grab finally. Check my fluid level. It's getting low. We're gonna top it off. Always got to keep an eye on that. If you start sucking air, you're gonna have to start all over again. Oh yeah, I can feel the brakes tightening up. Air is pushing out. Which if I turn this down, it's tight. Yep, it's tightening up. That's good. I'm gonna tighten up that valve. Check my fluid level. There you go. I had to set the camera on the tripod. I'm gonna squeeze the brake lever and see what we got. Oh yeah, she's tight. Yep. I finally got brakes. Yeah. All right. So you saw my little trick. There was no back bleeding. Uh, a lot of guys use a syringe or uh, that mighty vac, which I have no faith in. It never worked for me. So all I did was I put a hose in the jar. And I had the other end of the hose on the uh, petcock for the the brake and uh, blood the air out. Cranked her tight. And while I released the handle, it was actually sucking fluid back in. So I just uh, pumped all the air out, tighten it up, and boom, I've got brakes. Hope this helped you out. Um, it's kind of a long process for me because my master cylinder didn't work. But uh, hopefully it's something that uh, you guys can check into. So uh, there you have it. That's how I bleed my brakes. A um, couple different methods of doing it. Oh, and one more thing. So it turned out the brake line, the real curved up one that was up by the master cylinder, turned to be pretty rusty at the end. And uh, I was blowing air through here and nothing, a little bit was coming out, but not much. So that was telling me there was some rust getting into the master cylinder. That's probably what wrecked it. And let me show you one more little trick I did. Now you see this setup I got here. This is like off a of 99. Uh, scrambler. It's got the newer style hose. Uh, like I said, I went to the, uh, the hardware store and I just got an adapter. It was a quarter inch to eighth inch and uh, tightened up my line. And like I said, you uh, if you do that, you can pr pretty much put any master cylinder you want on there. And when I say br master cylinder, I mean the whole brake lever. So keep that in mind if you want to change something out. And like I said uh, in my uh, previous video, I have used motorcycle brake handles before. Uh, I used uh, I bought a used one off a of katana, and she worked pretty good. And I used the same setup. I guess one thing I haven't checked yet is how the back brakes turn out. And I had one guy asking about that. So might have to go through that yet, but I've got front bricks. That's what matters to me. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I've got plenty of Polaris repairs on there. And like always, till next time.